What's going on? It's your boy Sermon, the SermonsDomain.com. Dom Kennedy is back with his second project of the year, Best After Bobby 2, the sequel to 2009's Best After Bobby mixtape, um, you know, one of his earlier works. And um, I gotta say, after having, you know, by Dom Kennedy earlier this year, I was kind of disappointed. I was, actually, I was very disappointed in the album. I feel like it could have been a whole lot better. Dom didn't even feel like he was trying. So, a lot of people were, you know, hyped up because, you know, they wanted another project from Dom Kennedy. But I was one of the people on my timeline scrolling through Twitter. I was like, he just dropped a bad album not too many months ago. So, I wasn't hyped up for Best After Bobby 2. And pretty much my suspicions were confirmed because the project is not good at all. Basically, Dom Kennedy kind of goes, you know, the freestyle tape right the freestyle tape route and he takes you know all kind of beats classic beats from you know Dr. Dre, LL Cool J, Scarface and then you know many more and I love the beat choice I love you know the idea of a freestyle tape because they're rare nowadays artists don't do them they're more focused on the original music so I appreciate Dom Kennedy for you know going this route but at the same time it sounds to me like he really, like, legit freestyled all this stuff off the top of his head. Like, you know, no writing anything down. And, and you know, that's cool. It's, it's, a, it's a technique that some people have and some people don't. And Dom Kennedy's always been that person that I really felt never had that ability to really freestyle. Um, just because, you know, you hear his, his, his actual music and it's not too technical. It's not too crazy. So... I, I, I don't know. I just felt like this whole tape, you know, it had to have been freestyled. I'd hope it was freestyle because some of the stuff he's saying is just ridiculous, you know. It just doesn't, it doesn't come off good, you know. I'm listening to it a couple times and I just wasn't impressed overall. I feel like Dom could have definitely put more effort into the project. Um, I will say this though, there's two records on there that I actually kind of like. Uh, Sundays on Crenshaw wasn't a bad record, you know, it kind of stood out more because of the beat, and then, you know, the lyrics were not, you know, bad either, and then the second wasn't even the freestyle, um, there's a skit on the, on the project with the LA leakers that talks about, like, you know, his Nike commercial, and how he did two records for it, and they ended up choosing the second record, and that's the one featured in the commercial, and then the other record... He kept it unreleased for all these years and, or he kept it unreleased for however long, you know, he had it and he plays the record. It's called The Best, you know, and it was good. It's only a minute because obviously it was made for a commercial, but it's probably the strongest record on the project. It sounds like, you know, some good Dom Kennedy, some, you know, yellow album style Dom Kennedy, something good, you know, from him. But, I mean, overall, this tape is going to be pretty forgettable. Um, I don't think I'll play it again. Um, I just want Dom Kennedy to put more effort. I don't know what's been happening that he kind of took this, you know, he fell off. Kind of, I mean, the signs were kind of there when you hear, you know, Get Home Safely. You know, it didn't, it didn't, it wasn't a bad album. It was actually a pretty good album, but compared to like, you know, the Yellow album or, you know, from the West Side with Love 1 and 2, it definitely was a, a, a downgrade. So, I don't know. I'm hoping Dom Kennedy can figure out, you know, what's been going on, put some more effort into his music, really link up with some producers that's going to, you know, help him, link up with some people in general that are going to, you know, push him to want to do this, because now he's just coasting. He's kind of going like a Kanye route. Kanye's kind of been coasting lately, I feel. And... Hopefully, man, Dom Kennedy can, you know, return to form, take some time off like he always does, go on tour, you know, perform all, you know, his good music, and then take the time to really construct another project that sounds good, because Dom Kennedy flooding the market just doesn't work, and the fact that we got two Dom Kennedy projects in one year is kind of like a lot, and they're both disappointing, so, yeah, I mean... That, those are my thoughts on Best After Bobby 2. Um, I'd love to hear yours. Let me know in the comment section what you thought about the mixtape. Uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. 
Um, uh, follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain. And um, as always, I appreciate your time, man. Thank you for watching. And until next time, peace.